What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the live Raspberry Pi video. So, here we have the Raspberry Pi in question. Ow, I just hit my knee on this table. I'm sorry, table. Anyway, this is our Raspberry Pi. I just put the case on it. I really like the case. Um, highly recommend it. It fits, like, perfectly. Like, you kind of expect it. It's clearly, like, probably machine cut and math bulk. But, uh, actually, it fits really well. So, I'm actually really happy with the case. Anyway, enough about the case. We've got our SD card, our mouse train over here. Really necessary that you have like 19 ma mice. I wonder if it's mice or mouses. Anyway, continue on. Probably mice, but I've heard people say mouses too. So once you have your SD card, this is my SD card. As you can see, I actually did uh, put, <laughs> put that scotch tape on it because it was being a booger. So the SD card on your um, Raspberry Pi is actually going to go right in here. Uh, kind of the underside. You can see where the uh, clips are, and um, sorry, I think I was holding it like way over here. <laughs> anyway, you can see where like the I don't really know what those are even called. I don't know bars, but you can see where they ought to match up with uh, this. So anyway, you'll just slip this your SD card in there, get it in there, and it's in there. Now the next thing, um, if you have a monitor. Uh, you can either plug into your RCA or what the heck is it? Okay, the HDMI cable right there. I just so happen to have this lovely HDMI cable, so that's where I'm gonna stick it. That's what she said. And uh, okay, the HDMI cable is in there. Next thing, uh, if you want to have internet right now, we don't absolutely need it, but if if you want, you can plug your Ethernet cable in there. Um, next couple things that we want to have is a mouse for using mice-like things, so we'll stick the mouse uh, in there. Uh, you should have, oh man, this mouse is like really stiff. Hold on, let me hold it. One thing you would do kind of want to be careful about, like this, at least mine, is the, the USB is like really stiff, especially with this. And you can see it's just, you know, it's just mounted upwards. So if you're sticking something, especially in the top slot, you could be kind of creating leverage enough to, to break this. So just over time, you wouldn't want to break that down. So, you know, you might want to help push that in. So it's kind of a little delicate machinery here. Um, so once you got that, now next thing we want is a keyboard, which I just so happen to have a keyboard back from like, I don't know, 1998 or something. Uh, but actually, you know, back in 1998 when they made computer equipment, it lasted, you know, as opposed to nowadays, all that computer equipment just dies. So anyway, this, this keyboard is still kicking it. So we're going to be using it. So you just plug that in. Um, and then finally, uh, I think we've got everything we want plugged in besides power. Now, just keep in mind when you do plug in power, it's going to power up your Raspberry Pi. So you kind of want to make that the last thing that you do. Otherwise, you're going to be scrambling to catch up with options. So now, uh, power. Let's talk about power real quick. Um, let me find my, if I can, the plug. Well, you know what? There's like a huge mess of wires back there, and I can't be asked. So anyway, the power supply anyway is going to be basically any regular um, mini USB or micro USB charger like you would have for your cell phone. The only thing you want to pay attention to is if it's just straight up a USB cable, don't plug it straight into your computer um, because the computer can vary a lot as far as what it's pushing. Instead, what you want to use is something that plugs into a plug, and you, you want at least, um, well, it, everything has to be 5 volts, um, and then you want at least 700 milliamps, but if you're pushing, like, all this stuff, like, we've got a wireless mouse, a keyboard, HDMI cable here, um, now you're, you're kind of pushing it, so you might want to have more, like, 1,000 milliamps at least. So, um, but once you finally go, like, completely headless, 700 is fine, uh, but if you are going to start... Um, well, never mind. Anyway, um, so that's that. That's what we're going to do. We'll shut this thing up and let's plug in the power. So the power supply again, it goes, I kind of run out of wires here. Here we go. Uh, it's just right in there. So you'll plug in the power. Uh, let's see here. Once you plug it in and everything is on, you'll see there's some lights going. Um, so you'll know that you've at least started some sort of thing. And let's turn on this screen here see if we arrive at anything 
I am just reinstalling this, so who knows? I'm going to fry the entire uh, pie, but I doubt it.